Welcome to the Affiliate Guy Daily, your daily source for affiliate marketing news, tips, and strategies to take your online business to the next level. Let's dive right in. Hey, it's Matt McWilliams here, and today I'm going to share with you five reasons you should do an affiliate launch this year. Not next year, but this year year. Now, I'm not just going to share with you benefits to doing an affiliate launch. I'm going to share with you some of that, but I'm going to talk about why you should do it this year. And if you are ready to launch, you're ready to do an affiliate launch, go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash ready to launch. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash ready to launch. You can get on the waiting list for my course that's coming up, Seven Figure Affiliate Launch. If you're ready to launch, go there and uh, and get in on that. Get in on that. So this episode is brought to you by iDev Affiliate. If you're looking to start an affiliate program and you're on a budget, you're just starting out and money is tight, I cannot recommend another system more than iDev Affiliate. Again, this is not the high end. This is not the Cadillac version here. But if you're just starting out, it's reliable, it's accurate, and it will help you out a bunch. Go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash iDev for more information. mattmcwilliams.com forward slash I-D-E-V. That's my affiliate link, so you know how this works. So go to mattmcwilliams.com forward slash iDev for more information on iDev Affiliate. So what are those reasons, those five reasons why you should launch, do an affiliate launch this year? We'll start with the, the number one reason, which is scalability. Yeah, I don't care how good you are. I hear this all the time. Like, well, but our Facebook ads are, are converting. You know, we're converting so well. We're spending $1,000 a day and making $3,000. Like, hey, that's great. But no matter how good you are at Facebook ads or SEO or LinkedIn ads or, or whatever it may be, there's a ceiling. And it's usually pretty small. Usually it's pretty low on what you can do. Like how many people can you target on Facebook? Now I suppose you could say, well, we target everybody on Facebook, but is that really everyone that, you know, like, do you want to target everyone? (laughs) You know, usually when you niche it down enough, most people are targeting pretty small number of people and it's a finite number of people. As many people as are on Facebook, not everybody is. When you bring on affiliates, the ceiling comes off. Like the ceiling can't hold us. Okay, I had to do that. Um, I mean, literally, the ceiling just, it's ripped off, right? Because you're now working with other people who have an infinite number of contacts, in theory, as you you expand. So no matter what niche you're in, you know, let's say there's 400,000 people you could legitimately target profitably on Facebook. Well, there's another probably double to three or four times that from affiliates, possibly 10x that number from affiliates. So scalability is huge. Number two is is massive list growth. There's simply no better way to grow your list than to bring on affiliate partners. You know, we're looking at at our next launch of No Product, No Problem. And, you know, we're bringing on affiliates right now. We're looking at the numbers. I'm like, well, all these people have promoted something for someone, you know, one of our clients, every single one of these people has promoted something in the past. And I know how many opt-ins they're going to drive. And I know that at the end of that launch, my email list will be anywhere from 150 to 250% bigger. Like that's massive list growth. That means that a month after that, when I do my next affiliate promo, I'm reaching two to three times, possibly four times more people. Naturally, what do you think is going to happen to my commissions? May not go, may not be a one to one correlation, but I can guarantee you that if I'm reaching out to three times as many people, I'm going to make at least twice as much money. Everything you do will explode. Your blog traffic will explode. Your tweet, the tweets, the Facebook posts, the comments, everything, your views on your YouTube videos and podcast downloads, everything is going to explode. All from bringing on affiliates and doing an affiliate launch. The third thing is, and this kind of ties into what I talked about in number one, but very, but it's different in nature. You get to expand into new markets that you might not have thought of. See, when you're doing Facebook ads, you know it's all about profitability because you're spending money before 
you're making money. That's the other advantage to affiliates. You know, if, if money's tight, you know, you only have $3,000 in the bank, you're limited to what you can do on Facebook. With affiliates, you don't pay until after the sale is made. You know, there's no risk. That's why the subtitle of my, my upcoming book is The Low Risk, High Reward, Proven System for Explosive Business Growth. It's, it's, there's literally, I don't even know why I say low risk. There's virtually none. So on Facebook, we target what we know. We target, you know, we say, well, I, I sell, I sell what? I don't know. I'm trying to think of something. I sell protein bars. I guess that's on my mind because I just had one. <laughs> we, I sell protein bars. So I'm going to target fans of other protein bar companies and, and fitness, per, like fitness professionals and people who are in the fitness industry. That's it. But what about like corporate executives? And you know, what about people like me? You know, like I eat that as a meal replacement because I know it's at least somewhat healthier than stuffing my face with like leftover Chinese food. It's not really healthy, but it's moderately healthy, right? So what about people like me? Now that's a funky example, probably a terrible example, but you get what I'm saying. Maybe maybe Ray Edwards, you know, copywriting. And then when we, we did that, we started having affiliates like, well, these are not people we would have targeted on Facebook and that they're making sales. So it introduces new people to us and we get to expand into new markets and get discovered in those markets. Affiliates aren't always hyper-targeted. And that can be a, that can be a downside in some ways, but it's mostly an upside. Fourth, brand building. I mean, doing an affiliate launch, oh my word, like there's literally no better way to just explode your, your exposure in the world. It's, it's, it's a great way to build your brand. You have 10, 50, 1,500, 10,000 affiliates all promoting you in the same window. Now, if this is your first affiliate launch, please don't go have 10,000. It's a really bad idea. I've talked about that before. You want to build up to that. But even 15 or 20 people kind of in the same niche, all promoting you at the same time, you want to tell me that's not going to build your brand? Uh, yeah, massive exposure. And then fifth, it's, it's what Jeff Walker talks about. It's this huge launch echo. It's this huge launch echo where like what happens in the weeks, in the months, you know, I kind of touched on this earlier. After a launch, your blog traffic explodes. Your blog comments explode. Your YouTube comments explode. Your podcast downloads explode. The interview requests are, are explode. Everything just gets bigger. And it's this echo, even though the launch has ended. And there's still, boom, boom, there's still stuff rolling in. And financially, it's great even months down the road. One of the things we noticed when we started doing these, we would recruit affiliates. And then the launch would start day one. You know, say a 17-day launch. Average launch is 17.4 days. Day one. From day one to about day 10, 30% of our affiliates came in that period of time. 30%. They were either referred by other affiliates or they came in just during the launch because they saw everybody, you know, everybody promoting this and they wanted to be a part of it. People want to be a part of popular things. So think about that. You get to pick up 30% new affiliates just because you have a launch going on. Like, how cool is that? This launch echo is so important. So those are five reasons why you should do a launch this year. But when should you launch? Well, that's what we're going to talk about in the next episode. I'm going to share with you five things to do before your next or your first affiliate launch. So make sure to keep come back for that. Make sure you're subscribed and come back. For that next episode, I'm going to share with you what to do before your first affiliate launch. And if you have a question for me, just go to asktheaffiliateguide.com. And if you want to watch all of our deep dives into affiliate marketing, affiliate management, and running affiliate programs, go to theaffiliateguy.tv. I will see you there, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thanks so much for listening. Be sure to join us daily for more tips, updates, and inspiration. You can also join us and watch our deep dives into affiliate marketing strategies at theaffiliateguide.tv. And check all of our free resources at mattmcwilliams.com. See you next episode.